public affairs. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you understand. Uh, right. I enjoy talking with the past leadership, and I certainly enjoy meeting with the people. But going on the record for full press events, normally we have uh, advanced notification as well as preparations that we make. I am certainly open to an off-the-record conversation or off-the-record questions, mm -hmm. and if they want to take down details of what sure. we, you know, of what we, um, of Discuss. what we just discussed, that's fine. Okay. What I am hesitant right. is to engage in an on-the-record oh, no, interview. Oh, no, 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 it's just what we discuss. Yes. Yeah, okay. Right. Kita ada PC untuk, untuk apa ni, right. bertanya soalan. Tujuan lawatan daripada wakil Amerika, political, apa ni, untuk berkenal-kenalan dan untuk engagement supaya dapat maklumat-maklumat ini kita kita sebarkan di antara American Embassy dan American uh, apa ni US dengan Parti Islam Malaysia sama juga dengan dengan uh, Perak. Jadi kita banyak bincang dengan perkara-perkara dalaman ya. Yeah? It's so much on internal issues, just exchange of ideas. Ya. Yeah? Itu tujuan lawatan. It's a courtesy visit uh, daripada US Embassy kepada PAS. Uh, tidak banyak isu-isu yang 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 cuma pelabur, peluang-peluang pelaburan, kemudian uh, kes berkenaan dengan 9 hari bulan ini uh, yang akan ditentukan, kemudian berkenaan dengan uh, apakah peranan ya, kerajaan Amerika yang boleh kita gandingkan bersama untuk fahaman uh, menjernihkan lagi demokrasi di negeri Perak dan di Malaysia seluruhnya. Soalan-soalan ya. kecil-kecil berkenaan dengan F-Fighter Engine semua itu, dia kata itu dalam sisatan. Uh, we did uh, raise a question about the F5E, but that's under investigation. So it's not it's not right for for Mr. Jeremy to to give a comment on it now. Okay. So you would like to answer? They said, what what would be your 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 perceive your perception on, on the 9th of February, the decision by the federal court, <laughs> on who's the rightful Montreal <laughs> side, rightful government here? <laughs> any, any special comment on your side? I will simply say that we are awaiting the decision to see first what will happen here in Perak, but also we want to see what type of precedent will be set in terms of Malaysian governance. Okay. So we're very interested in the decision, but uh, unfortunately I cannot give an opinion uh, uh. specific to that matter. I hope you understand. Okay. Yeah. I, I, honest, I would not read into the timing of this visit. I've actually had been planning this visit for more than a year. And I have, in fact, visited many other Malaysian states in an official capacity. And that's because I need to get out of the capital. Malaysia is not Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia is the combination of the people and the state of mind of everyone, depending on what state you are in. But unfortunately, there were political events one year ago from tomorrow that made it cost me to delay my visit to come here. And that's simply because uh, we, are, we engage with all the political parties. Uh, right now, we are obviously engaged with the past, but we are also meeting people from UMNO, from MCA, Garakan, PKR, and DAP during this visit. I mean, we're really hitting all of the political parties that are represented here in Perak. And one thing that is very important for people to understand is that the United States does not take sides with political parties. We have positions on political issues. And sometimes those political issues are consistent with one party and inconsistent with another. It depends on the particular issue. But unfortunately, when we do certain things, and in this particular case, make a visit, the visit would be seen as taking a side with an issue, and that is not the case. This is why we delayed visiting your state for over a year now, is because we didn't want to be seen as having taken a side. Well, we could continue to delay forever, because there's always going to be political issues <laughs> in this state, but we made the decision maybe two months ago that we were going to visit here because it looked like the situation was finally quieting down and then we find out not too long ago that a decision was going to come out on February 9th. <laughs> this is, that is purely coincidence. Okay, We are not here to show support for one side, one position, or one party regarding the specific issues in this state. I would say that I am very happy to be here. It is nice to finally get out here. I am honored by the hospitality that I have been shown thus far and hope that the rest of my visit here will continue. 
and that I certainly want to convey that I will pass along all of my insights that I am gaining here back to my colleagues at the embassy so that we can gain a greater understanding of the mindset of the people here in Paris. I can only stress again that I appreciate the hospitality I have received thus far. Uh, we, are, we certainly, you know, I will not name the specific individuals that we are going to visit. I will tell you that we are visiting officials of the current ruling government here in Para. Okay. But it, it, it would be inappropriate for me to name names. Just yes. as when they ask me, oh, so who did you meet from the opposition? I don't name names. It, it works both ways. Okay. Thank you very much. So, thank you. Thank you very much. So, on behalf of PAS, again, we thank you for your presence and be honored about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we, have, we hope they have a pleasant stay here in this state. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. 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 Thank